So today, it's D-Day. The thing I've been uh, trying to avoid, the thing I've been scared of, I'm gonna drill my tanks today. I'm scared. I'm afraid I'm gonna break them all. Oh boy. Now for the 10 gallons, uh, my thought is I could put a hole lower and that'll be a little bit easier, I'm hoping, because these have really thin glass. I'm thinking that since the, there's no open spot at the bottom, it'll be a little more sturdy. It won't bow as much as if I push up here with pressure. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's really true. So that, I'm going to give it a shot. And then what I'll do is I'll just put a pipe that stankly goes up. So the overflow will still be up here. It's just the uh, bulkhead will be down here. Now, I got a half inch bulkhead. It's a small one. And it's going to need a one and a quarter inch diamond drill bit. Um, that's not the one that fits over it. If you go one inch, it ends up being too small. So we'll do our one and a quarter hole in the plywood now. That's the simple part. So this is the hole. I'll use this side. Um, basically, we're just going to press this against the glass and we're going to pour water on it as we drill because a diamond bit like this that goes through glass needs to remain wet in order to cut through it. So let me just test it make sure. So it's kind of tight. And that's actually the biggest spade bit I have. So I'm just going to take a wood rasp around it and try to uh, give it a little more space. All right, so now it fits a little smoother. See, we got a little bit of a gap in there. Hopefully that's enough. And let's go ahead and give it a shot. At an angle. Hmm. You know what, let me cut this part off so it sits flat on here. We got a nice consistent slow flow going. It is a little cold out here. I hope that doesn't affect it in any type of way, but uh, all right, time to stop delaying and get on with it. Yes, success, success, feels so good. Look at that, look at that, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. That's one down with many more to go. Uh, I do need a tip from you guys. If any of you guys know where to get the diamond drill bits in just a single size for a decent price, let me know. Because I went on Amazon and I can only seem to buy the whole set <laughs> rather than just buy the individual. I mean, I, I could buy an individual, but it's, it's as much as the whole set. But at the same time, I'm just going to end up with a bunch of extras that I'm never going to use probably. Now time to repeat the same process of the twin longs at the top. Wish me luck. You can see it's not a clean cut. There still are a little bit of a few rough edges right here. Sorry, it's hard to focus on glass. <coughs> but yeah, those uh, gaskets, those rubber gaskets on the bulkhead should cover that up and hopefully it doesn't leak, right? I mean, you never know, but I'm thinking it won't. So I'm gonna do my last one. Hopefully that one goes good as well. And then I'll start again tomorrow probably. Right here, it's the second day. You can see 
first coat is not very even, it's a lot of streaks, and it's kind of transparent. So the second coat, we'll try to apply it in the opposite direction. I'll go vertically instead of left to right. So if we try to even that out a little bit, and this may take several coats. Oops, just messed it up. So my theory is, last time I did this with the sponge, one, the sponge isn't the best thing to do this with. Uh, it was kind of rough and I was pulling on the paint that was already there. Um, so I'm trying to avoid that this time. So I switched over to a paintbrush. And number two, I let this dry longer than when I applied it the first time for the second coat. Uh, because as you saw from that video, some of that paint was coming off, which is definitely not a good thing, right? That's what we're trying to avoid here. Um, definitely more of a matte finish now, so it obviously changed by letting it dry a little longer. I thought it was already dry, but I was definitely wrong. So let me go ahead and finish up these tanks for the second coat and we'll see how they look. So you can see after a couple coats, we're looking pretty good. You don't really see any of the imperfections on the front side compared to the back where the paint is applied. Now this part right over here is actually, I think it's maybe some silicone maybe coming off the trim itself. So that's just gonna be there. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I may try to squeeze a brush under there and see if I can fix that. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the way it came out. So yeah, done. Step done, time to move on. I like that.